Dust is the enemy of preservation, said Miss Everling, my neighbor. That was one of the many mottos she had learned as a child in Wuppertal, Germany. Because of these mottos and her excessive cleanliness, I imagine Wuppertal to be the cleanest city in the world. Miss Eberling was 85 and lived in a Victorian row house she had purchased in the 1950s. She didn't care for the high ceilings, crown moldings, and plaster medallions. She cared even less for the wooden floors. She desired her house to be rid of cracks and crevices, a house uncluttered and easy to clean. Dust was her enemy. Before she moved in, workmen installed acoustical tiles to lower the hard-to-reach ceilings. They covered every inch of floor with seamless beige linoleum and replaced the louvered shutters with vinyl pull-down shades. The ornate brass vestibule lamp was traded for a smooth glass globe, and the fancy framed mirror from the dining room was given away because it collected dust. In the mirror's place, Miss Eberling nailed a photograph of Wuppertal. She often told me the people of Wuppertal are famous for cleanliness. Every evening, Miss Eberling sat at her grand piano and played the works of Brahms and Schubert. My dream was to become a great pianist, she said. As a girl in Wuppertal, I loved to practice, but chores took up my time. I knew about Miss Eberling's cleaning habits and mottos and her love for music because I helped her. She lived alone and was too frail to lift heavy things or climb ladders. Once I took down a dozen white linen curtains. Should I put them in the washer? I asked. No, she answered. I'll hand wash them in the sink. It pleases me to see dirt in the water. She was eager to explain her cleaning methods. I take scraps from used clothes and sort them into numbered boxes. Box one holds coarse cloth for wiping spills, furnace grit, and street grime. Box two holds soft cloth for dusting baseboards, stairways, and door lintels. Box three holds the finest cloth for wiping the sideboard, bedposts, and the lid and keys of my piano. While chatting with a friend from Munich, I described Miss Eberling. She must be the cleanest lady in the world. She says, dust is the enemy of preservation, a motto from Wuppertal where she grew up. I imagine Wuppertal is the cleanest city in Germany. No, said my friend, it's the filthiest city. All factories, stacks, smoke, and soot. Everyone in Wuppertal is constantly cleaning. They carry obsessive habits wherever they go. It saddened me that Miss Eberling had not pursued a musical career. The battle with dust was truly her enemy. It had defeated her dream. And what is the lesson we learn from this cautionary tale? It's this. Don't waste time and don't be sour when robots have the greater power to vacuum, wipe, and sweep, and scour an entire house in half an hour. Mm -hmm.